Hello, my name's Andrew Brooks and welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this episode, we're going to be exploring something which is a bit of a mystery to us Brits. Hello, thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. And as I said, we are going to be looking into something which is a bit of a mystery to us Brits because they were never issued over here and they are the CD long boxes um, such as this um, and as you can see it's a CD in a long box as it says on the tin now obviously we are used to CD I know this is an American copy but uh, um, we're used to CDs just being sold in in stores in the regular crystal case uh, just like that however I have been doing a little bit of investigation as to why in America they're issued in these rather peculiar long boxes. Now I have a, a quite a few of these and when I was over in the States in the late 90s I just went around and devoured them all as many as I could find. I've got no idea if they're particularly collectible these days or if they're particularly rare these days. I don't even know if they're still issued in the States in this format so um, let me know in the comments. Thank you very much. So uh, just to look at them. So the first one up is um, on a very nice Apple long long box as uh, on the back is just that a little bit of writing at the bottom Apple and capital but this is the um, Ivy's um, maybe tomorrow CD that's the obviously the US version and also in a nice long box like this we've got Wonderwall um, again just with the little logos at the bottom there but yes the CD is inside um, and there it is uh, moving on, um, this is quite an unusual one. It's a nice price box um, by Columbia, I believe, and associated uh, companies. So this is on Epic, and it's Ringo's um, Bad Boy. Now, I have taken these CDs out, and they're normally stored in my CD racks, and the only way I know that these uh, belong, which ones belong to which, is, I don't know if you can read that there, on the top, it tells you which album it is. So these ones where they're just a, like a generic box where they slotted the CDs in, um, that's how I can tell. But yeah, so that's Ringo's uh, Bad Boy. Now these don't have the CDs in, but trust trust me, I do have them. So we've got things like um, Living Material World and Somewhere in England, if you can see there, very nice on the back cover. And uh, even James Taylor. Now I'm surprised that they didn't have the picture going there because it is, oh in fact, hey presto, there it is. I was going to say it is a long photo of James just uh, sitting by a wall. But they've gone for the close up on the front there. Now from a little bit of investigation I found that um, what American record stores didn't want was to have all these huge racks full of 12 inch singles and then all of a sudden, um, sorry not 12 inch singles, <laughs> albums and all of a sudden CDs was the new was the new thing the latest craze and everyone was going nuts for CDs and obviously albums were vinyl albums were selling less and less and less and becoming less popular but what the record stores didn't want to do was get rid of these racks because obviously they're very expensive to to change over to to cater for um, smaller CDs like that I mean yeah you could fit more CDs on a similar size rack as 12 inch records but um, um, what uh, American stores didn't want to do was to replace them all so they've made these roughly the same size I'll say that grabbing a, an album from behind me there we are so they've made these roughly the same height as you can see there that's, uh, all this in World War Two. so they've made these roughly the same height as an album so they would fit in an album rack and presumably you could fit two side by side within the same rack as you would normally fit an album. So that was one of the reasons why I found that the uh, the American stores opted for the or the American record companies opted for this due to pressure from the record stores. Um, there's a Gone Tropo one there, as you can see. The other reason, from what I can gather, is um, theft. It's a lot easier to slip one of those in your pocket or your bag than it is one of these you need a very deep pocket or a very big bag 
So that was the second reason from what I, I could gather why they issued these uh, in the long boxes. Now this one's for Starstruck, which was never issued in the UK. Um, so I'm pleased to have it. It's got things like uh, uh, stuff from Old Wave as well as um, Stop and Smell the Roses. So um, uh, that was that one. This is uh, another Ringo one. Time takes time. Yeah. And I have to say, I, I do quite like these long boxes, purely because um, they're a little bit unusual. Um, there we are. And uh, if I had the space, um, I would, I'd have them out. I'd have them lined up on a shelf. Um, there we go. There's uh, all the best. With a, a very nice. This is something that you, you don't get with regular CDs. Obviously, if there's a landscape picture, you don't get to see the full length picture like that. So yeah, I would. I'd quite like to have these out on display. There we go. It's double fantasy. Again, with a nice big picture on the back. But unfortunately, I don't have the space. So these are stored away separately from the, the actual um, CDs. Yeah. George Harrison, self-titled album, George Harrison. It's all good. Another George one here. It's 33 and a third. So I'd be interested to hear on um, what my, uh, my friends over in America think to these long, long boxes. Were they a good thing? Are they still a thing? Um, are they collectible? I'm guessing they probably are to the collector. Um, certainly Brits who never even got these. Probably they'd be quite intrigued to have some of them. Walls and bridges. Um, and there's the Ringo album. This one's even got a hype sticker on it. Includes a hit photograph, You're 16, Oh My My. And it has three bonus tracks. It Don't Come Easy, Early 1970 and Down and Out. So that's quite nice. And then... Uh, back um, moving down now come on to capital which is a uh, band on the run so there's a bit of glare there and this is the uh, American version of band on the run with um, Helen wheels and the photographs in a different order to the UK copy moving on to a quite a boring one really I know it's the album cover and the album cover was quite boring but it's a pity there's no extra photos but um, yeah extra texture and uh, that's the back, and on, on the back it says one person can make a difference, and it starts with you, support, fuel efficiency, turn off lights, carpool, and recycle. Well, obviously these are recyclable, so it, it makes you think, when we have hard plastic cases for CDs, um, surely it would have been better to take a leaf out of the old reel-to-reel -reel tapes, which I feature on a previous uh, video, and have nice cardboard boxes to put your CDs in. And these are obviously recyclable if you if you wanted to throw them away um, personally um, I've kept all mine so we move on to oh here's another Apple long box um, first time on CD includes a classic the rock classic no matter what and five previously unreleased tracks so that's no dice um, by Badfinger again with the Apple long box and then um, moving on to another Badfinger one we've got Magic Christian so uh, and this one, interestingly, says, made in Germany. But to my knowledge, um, European issues didn't come in a long box like this. So um, that's all the long boxes I have. I just wanted to show them to you and, and explain why they are a curiosity to us Brits. Um, personally, I like them. Uh, they're, they're nice to have for a collector's point of view. They offer nothing more to the CD other than... Um, a little bit something extra to to tie to to uh, put on your shelves and uh, clog up your shelves now uh, before i go i've got just a little bit of something extra now these i'm sure were issued in long boxes but i picked these up in i think about 96 97 now and anthology cds but when you look at the size of the boxes like oh, about half the size however they're still bigger than the actual cd cases so What's the purpose of these? Again, it's a mystery. Ours didn't come in like this. Um, ours just came as a regular CD. And if you was lucky enough to get the slip case to put all three anthologies in, then uh, then that's what you did. And again, um, anthology two. Unfortunately, I don't have anthology three in this type of box. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's a bit of a mystery. I'm sure. Uh, my American friends will be able to answer that. Uh, I just wanted to show you my collection of long boxes. 
and uh, answer a, a couple of questions that I've been able to um, to figure out as to why they were issued in the first place. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll see you next time. Thank you. Um, please subscribe. I think it's down here somewhere. And probably by now there's a couple of links up here for you to uh, click on. Thank you very much for watching.